President Mahama has cut salt for the construction of a 30-bed capacity polyclinic for Gomwa de Rampon in the central region. He said nine more polyclinics have been earmarked for construction in the region as part of government's plan to expand access to health care. President Mahama spent his final day of the Accounting to the People tour in the central region at Gomwa de Rampon. The community with more than 13,000 residents has been relying on the APAM hospital. As part of efforts to expand health care, President Mahama has cut the sword for the construction of a new polyclinic. Gumwada Rumpon Polyclinic, no. I'm a friend of many hospital. Osande, or a 30 bed facility. This polyclinic is a 30 bed facility and will have all the needed equipment to operate. Mini hospital, polyclinic, Ebenya. What them polyclinic the president also directed the the ramp on road contract for shoddy work. The workload is beyond the contractor, so I have instructed the sector minister to terminate the contract and give it to someone who can speed up work. contractor. Earlier, the president had addressed the students of the University of Education in Winneba, where he explained why teachers' allowance was replaced with a student's loan. When we came into office, we found that the 38 colleges of education were in fact operating at less than 40% of their capacity, while thousands of eligible students sat at home. Government therefore decided to swap the teacher trainee allowances with a student loan scheme as it's operating in all other uh, uh, universities that train teachers. The Pro Vice Chancellor of the University, Reverend Afo Bruni, lauded government for its interventions at the university but stated that accommodation for students and staff remain a challenge. The University of Education Winneba is able to accommodate only 23% of its 2,100 staff population on all its four campuses, leaving most of our staff to commute from various locations to work. The central region is the fifth in accounting to the people at all.